Hey there, Nick here today again. Right, this is a little bit of an impromptu video. Um, as you know, on my first Natter with Nick, I shared some of my dies, uh, some of the dies that um, I was going to have for my August collection. Well, looking through them, I've thought and thought, and I've really got too many, so um, I've got one that I'm actually dropping out of the collection. A couple of reasons for this. It was a new die that I was trying out, and um, it's the Graceless Graceful Stripler. I'll just show you. It's uh, quite a large die. Uh, this is the packaging, as always, and this is the the design. Um, <clears throat> I had a chat with my producer about it, and um, you know, we weren't sure if I'd be able to get the graceful in and things like that, and it's, it was a tricky die. Um, I loved it when it came back. Um, as I say, it's, it's something a little bit different, so it's not going to be in my collection, but I'm not prepared to just abandon it. Um, I had to get enough, you know, for my design team, for myself, for the studio, for photos and things like that. So I've got 11 and I'm going to put them on my Etsy site. Normally they retail at about 22 99 because they're a huge die, about a little bit over 20 centimetres. Um, right, so I'm just going to show you what you can do with it. You need to really watch the video before you decide to get it because it is a different die. You know, I don't want people buying things and then coming back and they're not happy with it. So that's why I thought I'd do the, the video of it first. So it's a two part die as before, which means you can cut in to your card or take it out. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is this uh, gorgeous edge here, I love this. Um, so this is uh, what it will cut you out, a rectangle with the decorative edge which is great for using as toppers. Um, you know you can put any design in here so you can use this for, uh, for gutting your card um, and for placing toppers on. This is if you cut the actual die as it is um, and leave the grace, I've left the graceful in I've left all the bits that you poke your tool out, I've left all those in as well, so it's a lovely embossed look, which I really like. The other way you can use it is by poking out the graceful and poking out all the leaves. Um, what you would have to do is you'd have to snip the last two letters, the U and the L, uh, to take out the graceful. I actually like it like this. Um, just a, a very deep embossed look and that's what I was after. Um, if you want to snip as well, it's got really great snippability with this, it's got some fantastic flourishes that match the uh, stamps uh, the stamps in my last collection and also grace and graceful. Um, I think there's other words you can get ace, uh, race, you know other words you can get out of it as well. So that, in essence, is what you get from this die, the Graceful Stripler. <clears throat> um, I've been playing around with it just to see what else you can do. You know, for more advanced crafters, you know, there's a lot more that you could do with it. Losing the Graceful word completely, a uh, little bit of snippability, and you can get uh, this look. You would need to back it onto the black, uh, you know, if you cut your, yourself the black outline, and then you'd snip and... If I can show you where you'd snip on the first one, I've just lost the C out of here. So if you did want to do that, which it isn't meant to, is you just get yourself some scissors and you'd cut in between in between the lines. As I say, it's something that I didn't want to carry forward anymore, but I don't I want to give people the opportunity of buying it if they'd like to have it. So as I say, there's eleven people that'll get it. I'm keeping one for myself. Uh, because I, I can see quite a few things that I can do with it but because of the uh, investment in bringing a large amount of these dies to Chanda I really can't afford to do that and to bring the other dies as well I think I've got about six or so other dies that I wanted to bring and I can't manage to bring them all so uh, once again like all my dies I mean they poke out really really well uh, really easily In fact, let's just, that's what I usually do, isn't it? But I'm not going to really do that uh, today. I just wanted to show you with the U and the L. Let me see if I've got my little nail scissors here. So with the U, 
which is just here you literally poke your little scissors in and you cut to the leaf and the same with the L you can see exactly where to, to pinch just to get those out and then you've got your graceful all the little um, leaves fall out as well I built in some extra leaves uh, because it was meant to stay in the card some of them don't poke out they're meant to be lifted um, if I just show you how to take out the the little uh, if you want to use just the, the sprigs on your cards that's an easy thing to do you just uh, literally poke them out Yeah, it's a shame it is a really nice die but as I say I've got some really stunning dies to come and this one really wasn't I wouldn't say it was uh, no I would it wasn't doing a hundred percent exactly what I wanted but as I say there's so much you can do that I didn't want to just throw it away there's some fantastic little pieces out of this so I'm gonna put it on offer on my website and it's gonna be on there for uh, 15.99 um, which you know for, for itself even taking into account the uh, the outside die and the embossed area I think that's great value and and I'd rather do that than throw them away which is what will happen which w would it would have been what would happen if I if I didn't offer them to you so and they're, they're nice sizeable uh, sizeable swells they're really lovely and delicate put them there and you can sort of see them a bit better as well and uh, quite a few of those come out you can get the four lovely swells coming out of there This is done on uh, sort of 300 and 320 GSM card. There's another sizeable one here. It's such a delicate die. It's just uh, you know I would have liked to bring it, brought it, but uh, one of the others, one of the other striplets I've done, it's fairly simple, uh, fairly similar to that. Only you know the other one was doing absolutely everything. It was it, it's all singing, all dancing. So. I just had to lose something and and this was what I was going to lose. You know, to bring it to Hachandra I have to have an awful lot of stock and it's uh, it's an investment. So I'll leave it at that, but if I just go through the board again you can see, see you can see a lot clearer on the black. You've got some lovely swirls that you can use as embellishments on your card. They'll go perfectly if you bought the floral collection uh, at the beginning of June. They go absolutely perfectly with that got the lovely words that you can use in your retro banner um, the exterior die which I think is a fantastic uh, for your backgrounds you know to use as the background of your card and then uh, you know decorate it up use your toppers um, this on its own I mean I, I really do love it it's such a gorgeous die and even like that on the card is really very nice or you could you could color in the leaves use your alcohol markers or your jelly roll pens to colour it in and then this is just poked out with uh, the ones that poke out and these these little ones here are the ones that you can actually flip open flip, flip up and flip open so anyway they'll be on my website on the Etsy store so if you do want them do grab hold of them while they're, while they're there Alright, thank you ever so much, um, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget Natter with Nick on Wednesday, 7 o'clock. And if you've got any ideas for the Back to Basic shows, if you go to the Back to Basic show on YouTube and leave in the comments there any recommendations, any requests, any ideas that you'd like to see in future shows, leave them there because then they're all in one place. So it makes it really easy for me to find. I know I've got a few littered here and there in comments in Facebook, but it really does help me if you leave them all in one place. Otherwise, I spend an awful lot of time going through different comments to find them. So that would really help, make it a lot easier for me, and I can then spend more time on getting the preparation for the show. All right then, we'll take care, and I'll see you on Wednesday. See you soon. Bye.